All right, our next video is chord chord angles. So we have again two chords coming together in a circle. They're meeting at this point right here. Notice the point doesn't have to be in the center. It could be off center just like last time. <clears throat> this uh, this angle right here is not a central angle. It's also not an inscribed angle. But it's just kind of an angle that's formed when two random chords come together at any point inside the circle. And when that happens, when they do intersect, then some pretty interesting stuff goes on. This arc right here and this arc right here have a nice relationship with this angle right there. All right, and the relationship is right here in this box. All right, we're basically going to, if we're trying to find angle one, all we're going to do is look at the arc right here, look at this arc, add it together with this arc, divide by two. All right, so let's go through a few examples here. Number one. Number one, we're looking for angle VWU, this angle right in here. To find that angle, we're going to say, let's call it angle, I guess we'll just call it the measure of angle VWU. To find that angle, we're going to set up our very simple formula that we add the arc and the arc together. So it's going to be 108 plus 50 over 2. Cool part about this theorem is that they're all kind of like in a nice straight line. You would never want to like take this arc with that angle and that arc. It doesn't work that way. Keep everything nice and straight. So here we go. The measure of angle V W U is let's see 158 over two. 158 over two. That is uh, 79, I suppose. So the measure of angle V WU is that simple. All right, let's go to number two. Number two. Down here, we're looking for angle SRT, so the measure of angle S, let me write that again. SRT is equal to the arc plus the arc over two. So those add up together. Let's see, uh, 220, I think, over 2 is 110. So the measure of angle SRT is 110. And that's it, right? I'll make a quick little mention of the fact sometimes you're, you're going to be asked to find this angle as well. Well, we know that these angles are supplements. They form a straight line, so this one's going to be 70 degrees. The green one is 110, the blue one is 70. All right, it also hopefully goes without saying now that this one is also 70 and this one is also 110. Vertical angles apply as well. All right, moving right along. Number three. Number three, we're looking this time for the arc and for this guy out here. So we're going to write our formula again it starts with the angle is equal to arc plus arc so it's 95 plus x over 2 in this case we're calling our missing arc we're calling that x all right so we're ready to go here we've got uh, let's see we've got let me get this question mark out of there a little easier we'll call it x all right, so we have a little form, a little algebraic equation here that we need to just simply get rid of the two first. Uh, a lot of students, for some reason, want to divide 95 by two first. You can do that, but if you do that, you have to divide the x by two as well, and that leaves you with a pretty crazy equation. It's not difficult, but it's a little bit more difficult than it needs to be. So I'll show you a little trick. If there's ever a really somewhat complicated numerator, right? If your numerator has a bunch of stuff in it, in this case it has two things, but sometimes it could have way more than that. If it ever does, start by multiplying both sides by two. What that's going to do is cancel this two out. These are canceled. On the left side it's 156. 
is equal to 95 plus x. The top hasn't changed at all. And we'll subtract 95 from both sides. So we get x equals, uh, let's see, it's 61. x equals 61 degrees. And again, it's probably worth checking to make sure that everything fits right. You can put 61 back in here and make sure it fits together nicely. Moving on, number four. Number four, we have a little bit more of a complicated situation. So let's go and find, uh, we're looking for this little x right here. So the formula always starts with an angle every time. Common mistake would be to start with an arc, but you want to start with an angle. So the angle is equal to arc plus arc over two. And again, everything kind of fits together in a nice straight line. All right, if you wanted to take your highlighter, you just highlight straight across there. That's how we know it works nicely. Again, multiply both sides by two. When that happens, that cancels. We get two, two, eight on the left. Uh, this numerator doesn't change at all. So two, two, eight is equal to, let's combine constants, 148 plus 40x. Subtract 148 from both sides. That gives us, uh, I guess, 80 is equal to 40x. Divide by 40x is 2. All right, this one I would definitely recommend checking it. If we put 2 right here, we get 83. All right, so 114, this is a check. 114 better equal 145 plus 83 over 2. While the numerator 145 plus 83, that's 228. It's 228 over 2. Does that equal 114? Yeah, it does. Number 5, last one. Here we have a couple, a couple separate algebraic expressions. You always want to start with your angle. All right, the formula is angle is equal to arc plus arc over 2. So always start with your angle. 9x plus 12 is equal to 14x minus 10 plus 74 over 2. Again, if you wanted to highlight that, you can see that they're in a nice straight line. And I keep saying that because a common mistake for a lot of kids is, believe it or not, to say, all right, this arc plus this arc equals this angle. And it's kind of like a crazy diagonal. It's sort of a jagged line. It's not right. Be careful. We're going to multiply both sides by 2. Over here, we need to distribute that. These cancel out, leaving us with 18 x plus 24 is equal to 14x minus 10 plus 74. Notice my numerator up here hasn't changed one bit. A lot of students seem to think that they multiply the top by 2 as well. All right, but the 2 is already canceled out, so you don't have to do anything to it. So here we go. Let's deal with this equation. Again, more algebra. We have variables on both sides, so I'm going to move the smaller one over to the left. We have, we're going to subtract that from both sides. I get 4x plus 24 is equal to 64. We're going to subtract 24 from both sides. I get 4x equals 40. Divide by 4. I get x is 10. I right, definitely want to check this one since there's so many algebraic expressions in here. Uh, 14 times 10 is 140, minus 10 is 130. 9 times 10 is 90, plus 12 is 102. So the question is, does 102 equal 130 plus 74 over 2? A numerator, add those together, you get 204. So the question remains, is 102 equal to 204 divided by 2, and the answer is yes. All right, and again, if you were ever asked to find this green angle, angle ECF, all you would have to do is find this one first, which we just did. It's 102, and take its supplement, which is 78. 
this angle is 78, they're vertical, and angle over here, I'll put it in the same color, that angle is 102 as well. So everything kind of fits together nicely. So that was your video on chord chord angles.